Hello, I'm Alison Miyaba, and today I'm here with the cast and crew of Another Country, a play that will be on in fifth week at the Oxford Playhouse. Firstly, I'll be talking to Edwina and Jessica, the producer and director of Another Country. Jessica, what made you want to put on Another Country? First and foremost is the fact that I absolutely love the play. Um, I think it's very funny and it's deeply moving and I've known it for a long time. And this seemed like the perfect opportunity because it's a play that really... It's a play that really suits the sort of actors that we can get here. It's got an energy and an intelligence and a wit and a pace and things like that to it, which suits the sort of people who are available to, for casting down to the ground. Also, something we've discussed at length is, is the fact that we um, very much wanted to find a play that would allow us to cast to age, more or less, because it can be excellent seeing a young actor really, really stretched to play somebody who's completely out of their age range. But at the same time, there's something quite freeing about not having to worry about that, about um, just being able to completely absorb the character in a way and um, play two, three years distant to what you actually are. Um, I think it's quite a liberating thing. Uh, the memories are so close to you, that sort of thing. Would you add anything to that? Um, not really. I mean... We just thought it would be really fun to put something on the Playhouse stage where everyone was being the age they are. So very excitingly, I mean, it's a play with ten male characters. Mm -hmm. uh, nine of them are between, they're about 17 or 18. Uh, and one is sort of middle-aged. And we have a lecturer from Ariel who's going to be playing that middle-aged part for us. Uh, so that's quite exciting. Yeah. yeah. And Edwina, the Oxford drama scene is difficult to break into. It has been suggested that rather than choosing talent, production teams often cast their friends or those who are already well established in Oxford. <laughs> Was looking for new faces something you were thinking about during casting? Well, the thing is, I think Jess and I are kind of the new faces. We didn't, we, this is our first play in Oxford. Jess did a garden show at Christchurch College, mm. um, but this is my first show as an, actor it, as an actress than, rather than on the production team. And this is my first show in Oxford. So we didn't really know who the faces were when we were casting. I think I we've should got add, idea I should, now. I should also add at this point that we're both graduate students. We've done a lot of student drama well, that's before true. we got I mean, here. A lot um, at our respective undergraduate universities, yeah. but not at Oxford. Um, but I think... No, we're complete novices. This <laughs> no, we've done a lot, but not here. But I think... Um, yeah, I think actually it's worked out really well. We've got a nice balance of people who are familiar with the Playhouse and quite experienced, and you know, quite a few really talented freshers who walked into the auditions and we knew we had to have them. Um, and I think that's created a really nice dynamic in the cast and yeah. will be really interesting for everyone to watch. Hi, could you guys introduce yourselves and the characters that you play? My name's Tim. I'm playing the character of Barclay. My name's David, I'm playing Fowler. My name's Tom, I'm playing Wharton. My name's Francis, I'm playing Mingus. Francis, could you give us a brief synopsis of what the play's about? Uh, so the play takes place in a boarding school which is never really defined, but we, we take it to, I don't know, to be um, quite a traditional one. Um, and in this boarding school, basically, uh, we find out that one of the boys has killed himself um, because he was found out to be um, homosexual. Uh, and that brings out a lot in the character's homosexuality. So there's a lot of latent homosexuality in the boarding school. Uh, and also a lot of the political views of the boys um, that lead to a sort of, it's, it's, uh, to a, it's an explosion of, of, of school politics. Um, and so yeah, quite hot hitting emotion. And uh, Tom, how did you find getting into character? Um, well, we had meetings with just the director about sort of uh, the backstories of our characters and what what's sort of going through their minds in the scene. So then when we sort of got to the script, it was quite easy to sort of know what the character was thinking about, what what he was saying, why he was saying it. So in that sense, it was, it was quite good. And David, the play addresses themes like elitism, homophobia, suicide and snobbery. Do you think that these are issues that are of, often ignored, in Oxford in particular? Do I think they're ignored? Yes. Um, they're, they're probably, they're very much, I'd say, Issues that uh, that uh, so I said probably underlie many of the institutions here, and so, um, but I, I don't think they're ignored. I think I think people people do try to deal with them, but that's because they do exist. Um, uh, and so yeah, I suppose this play is 
pushing some way towards addressing that. And Tim, how have you found dealing with these issues in rehearsals? Um, well, uh, I guess you sort of, it's sort of more about getting into your character and trying to work out how your character would respond to them. I mean, the, the, the morals, of the, the, the whole ethical structure is slightly sort of different in this um, boarding house. I think that's one of the most interesting things about the play is that it's, um, it's almost like a sort of subculture and it's almost quite claustrophobic, the feeling of the play. Um, and so I'm not sure if the way I look at it is how I would necessarily deal with it if it happened in you know, real life, in my life. Um, but yeah, it's certainly interesting kind of examining um, how people would respond to this, especially things like suicide and different people respond in different ways. Uh, and some people sort of are forced to grow up, um, you know, through, through their exposure to that. Some people kind of still treat it almost like a schoolboy might, you know, something quite minor that's gone wrong. So that was, it's been interesting that way. And lastly, what are you most excited about for opening night? And that's for all of you. Julian Mitchell's coming, is he? Yeah. Yeah, that'll be quite pretty exciting. Awesome. Awesome. Uh, performing on the stage. Yeah, after all this is work, like getting it started. I think this is yeah. There's some sort of magic about like when you arrive there and the set suddenly comes up and suddenly it's not just everyone in a room kind of imagining everything and all these things you've had to mine before are suddenly there and there's a kind of real element. I don't, I don't know about you guys, but I've performed on the playing stage before. No. So. You have, veteran over here. Hi, could you all introduce yourselves and the characters that you play? Uh, I'm Howard Cozy and I play Donald Devonish. I'm Miles Lawrence and I play Sanderson. I'm Frederick Bowerman and I play Delahaye. And I'm Jay Smith and I play Wicked Uncle Vaughan. Kind of James, what first drew you to another country? Uh, well, um, I know the play from having taught it and um, lectured on it, and I just thought it was funny, it's well written, and each character gets the chance to have his or well, there's no her. His moment in the spotlight, so I thought it was, it was a nice a nice thing to come on board. Okay, and Frederick, how have you found the rehearsal process so far? Great. Yeah, really enjoyed it. Um, wonderful. It's what you expect, really. You learn, learn the lines and then develop the character um, and get more familiar with the rest of the cast and the play itself. Um, yeah, it's really enjoyable. And uh, how have you found getting into character? <laughs> um, Relatively easy. I, the character I play is um, a sort of alpha male type, sort of dominant, um, overconfident, sort of hugely popular sportsman, um, all of which I can relate to um, quite easily. So yeah, it's been it's been a doddle. And Miles, the play moves between moments of serious drama to playful comedy. Have you found it hard to make these transitions? Um, well, my my character is actually one of the one of the sort of comic reliefs of the play. It's it's up for interpretation as to how it's how it's played. So I could have played it as, as quite a jaded, sort of cynical character. But uh, when when we sort of went through this at the beginning with the directors, we decided that it was going to be it was going to be um, it was going to be a bit more flippant and a little bit more apathetic about all of the drama that's going on within the school. Um, so actually I haven't had to I haven't had to go on, on the other side of the serious stuff as much as some of the other characters have. Um, so I think that's been slightly easier for me than some of the others. And James, what are you most worried about for opening night? Um, <laughs> I get catastrophic stage fright and have to be dragged literally out of the dressing rooms, into the green room, into the wings, and then physically pushed on stage. But, but once I'm on stage, it's fine, so that's okay. So that's the only thing I'm worried about. Yeah. <laughs>